now what we're going to do is we're going to move on over to some brow mapping. Okay, this is my favorite part of the procedure. Um, we're just going to take this off again. All right, guys, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take your Loris wipes, and I'm just going to do this to the skin one more time. Again, just disinfecting it. You can tell her skin is a little bit blanched. You can see that white halo around the skin. That's exactly what we want to see. So now we're going to start brown ma mapping. Again, I use pre-inked string. Um, it's a little bit quicker, but I am going to teach you guys how to use the China pencil on the string. So now I'm going to brow map. I'm going from the peak of her nose, the cupid's bow here, the sides of her eyes, and the sides of her brow. I like to brow map laying down, um, but I will show you another technique too in the other brow mapping videos on sitting up and laying down. So I'm going to come right down the middle here. This is exactly where I want her center line to be. And then you just tug up just a little bit, okay? So now what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna use the ruler, okay? Don't worry about the string getting on your hands, but again, you guys, you do wanna work pretty clean, so you don't want the brow mapping string all over your client's face. So we're just gonna hit this up at the top here. We're gonna make sure this is all lining up. Okay. So we've got that string lining up right through that zero. And we're good to go. I can tell that her, this arch is a little bit higher than this arch, but we're gonna make sure this is all good to go. And we're gonna start in the same spot on each brow. And again, we're just gonna tug up a bit. Okay. I'm gonna come in here and make sure we're starting at the same spot on this side. We're just gonna tug up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna mark off her arches and you can open up your eyes for me. We're gonna go from the outside of her iris here. So I'm gonna go at about the four, 4.3. I'm gonna hit up the 4.3, I think. I like to do two and I'll show you why. And then we're gonna hit up the sides of her. We're going by the side of her nose all the way up. We're gonna hit up that seven mark. I think that most people kind of have the same brow length. I'm always finding like the arches are by the fours, by the 4.5, we're ending by 6.5 to seven at least. Um, and we're always hitting at the front of these A's here. So, so now we're taking off the ruler and I'm just gonna wipe my hands to make sure they're all clean before we get started. I'm gonna grab my string again. And not having your hands be like too wet on the string because once the string gets wet, you'll see it's almost like a paint. And um, it gets all over everything. So we're just gonna do our arch, top arch line, all right? We're just gonna fill these lines. Okay, so we're just filling in the blanks, making sure they're all, they're all there. And now what I'm gonna do is I wanna hit the top of the bulb, okay? The bulb, the arch, the tail, right? So we're just gonna hit the bottom, okay? So you have the start lines basically, the top of the bulb line, and then we have this arch line, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our string from the top of the bulb line and we're gonna hit the very top here. I'm just gonna pull back. Okay, same thing on the other side. Right to that first arch line, and we're gonna pull back. So we have the top of the arch line, all right? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come from this second line that we did, and we're gonna come from that V that we did down here, our tail line, and we're gonna come all the way up. Okay, and same thing over here. You guys, the reason we do this is so that we can see if all of our lines line up. If all of our lines line up and our boxes are the same, then these brows have to be the same. The triangles are the same. These boxes are the same. This is all the exact same. We're mirroring each and every single box. Okay, so now we're gonna do the bottom of the brow. We're gonna bring it from here to this first line. Right? And then we're gonna do our tail, right? Same thing, same thing on the other side. Bottom arch, 
bottom tail. Boom. So now we pretty much have brows. Almost. Not quite there. So now I'm just going to kind of clean up the area a little bit. We always want to work clean, you guys. Clean is just the best way to go. Just cleaning up any areas that need cleaning up so that you can see the boxes and make sure they're perfect. Okay, we see that we do need some cleaning up too, right? We're not just microblading artists, we're brow artists. So I'm gonna take out all the hair that's kind of in this section and just kind of groom her brows so that we know that each side is exactly the same. So I can tell that there's some brows here that need to be taken out. So I'm just gonna stretch that skin. Checking in with your client, how you doing? I'm good. Plucking is probably one of the most annoying feelings in the entire world, but here we are, right? Getting rid of any extra brow hairs here. We want that arch to show. So we're, a lot of people like to bring arch up high, okay? And like, oh, the arch, you gotta get arch. No, you can actually create arch from underneath the brow, all right? So just know that you don't have to create the arch from up top and have them huge arches on her forehead. All right, you can actually create arch from down below. Um, and that's what I like to follow, okay? So we've cleaned up that brow. We're just gonna clean up the other brow here. All right, bringing our spoolie, checking them out. So now I'm gonna just comb downwards. And I'm just gonna comb downwards. And this is gonna show me, all right, where I need to kind of trim those brows. So I just like to come up here Trim them up just a little bit. Then I like to comb upwards, right? And just a little bit, just to trim them up. It's almost giving like a brow, a haircut. Okay, same thing here. Coming down, just trimming them up. Then I see there's a couple more spots that I need to tweeze. I want these brows to be perfect for me. Perfect for me is for microblading. I don't want to see any extra hairs. They're just gonna get in the way. If I see a hair that's gonna bug me, I'm gonna get rid of it, okay? So you guys, um, I'm gonna start doing um, the outline here. I'm gonna use my China pencil. I'm gonna show you how to sharpen, um, sharpen your China pencil. But first of all, what I'm gonna do actually is I'm just gonna take off these lines, okay? So you just take off the lines once you kind of know, all right, this looks pretty good. You're gonna take off all your lines. And then you're gonna be left with a brow, okay? We're gonna soften off those arches, all right? With our pencil and we're gonna um, make sure they are completely symmetrical. Sometimes people find it hard to get um, these lines off sometimes, okay? A couple of things that might work. Uh, a cream makeup remover works really, really well. If your client has really dry skin, um, it'll come off really quite nicely. Or else um, green soap. Green soap will take this off right away. Everybody should have green soap in their clinic. Um, it also helps taking off any extra dry um, pigment as well. It works really, really well for that. So now that we have um, all this kind of gone, what you can kind of do is you take your little razor, all right, and you just kind of come in here and you're just gonna softly take off any of the brow hair that's around here. And it's really awesome too because you can tighten up those lines really nicely. See how this is like this? You can actually curve that out really nice. All right, we're gonna come in here and we're just going to tug it ever so slightly, you guys, at a 45 degree angle. All right, these are like the sharpest blades ever. Not, you do not wanna cut your client. All right. So now we have a really nice brow shape here, okay? Same thing on the other side. We're just gonna tidy it up. Make sure it's tickety-boo. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. And now we are good to go. So we have our china pencil nice and sharp here. All right. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tighten up her skin really tight. Okay. Like super tight. And then I'm just going to tighten up this line right here. See how nice that line is? See the difference between like a thick line and a, and, a, and a thin line? Huge difference, especially when you're microblading, okay? You want these lines to be tight. You don't want thick lines at all. I'm just gonna round it out a bit. Okay. There, that's a, that's a beautiful brow design. We're not going too much thicker than what she's got. We're rounding it out. It's um, it's a really nice uh, thing to have. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna come in here, and where I need it, I'm just gonna round this out. Sorry if my arm's in the way here. Again, really nice tight line. Nice and thin, right? I can tell this one's just a tiny bit thicker and we're gonna adjust that. I'm just getting yourself in the position to give really nice brows. All right guys, so I'm just gonna come back in with my, with my string and just make sure these are um, all lining up good. I can see a couple spots here where I need to um, adjust, but that's pretty easy. All right, you guys, so now we're just gonna clean up that area again, just a little bit more, tighten up those lines. What I like to use is this Magic Cleaner, okay? It is amazing to take off lines. I'm just gonna show you right now. So say if you need to clean up these lines right here, boom, just kind of takes them off really nicely so that you can, there you go, okay? And then if you need to tighten up some lines, it works really well just to get right in there just to take some stuff off. Make sure everything's really clean for when you start. And uh, if you need to take off just a tiny little bit, it's amazing for that. So say if I wanted to tighten up that line here, I just want to take off just a tiny little bit, okay? And it does that for us. Um, I think we're pretty much ready to go on these. Um, we are, again, just going to double check everything. Okay, so I like to use this handy caliper here just to make sure everything's good to go. So I'm just gonna measure in here. Make sure that's where I want it to be. I'm going to measure a brow. Typically what we like it to be is about exactly two inches and we are here. And we just like our arch to be perfect at about the 1.5, 1.25 area. We're just gonna bring that to the other side and that's perfect here. Make sure it's at a two here. And it is, okay? So you just wanna double check everything, make sure it's perfect. And we are, we're matching. So I think we're good to go. We're gonna show our client what these look like and then we're gonna get started on microblading.